Welcome to Creating Business Process Applications Quickly, an introduction to the Sequence Kinetics App Studio. In this video, you will learn how to build business process applications quickly and without programming using Sequence Kinetics App Studio. You can watch other videos in this series on advanced process design, process management, and administration. Tanya is an account manager for Solera, a solar energy provider who just won a major tender from a strategic customer. Tanya needs to quickly create an application which enables the speedy processing of orders from this customer. The request details must be captured in a web form, and these must be sent to Solera's provisioning department, engineering department, and the billing department, each of which must complete a task to provide the customer with the service it purchased. As a power user, Tanya can quickly build this process using Sequence Kinetics without any programming. In the administration environment, Tanya can manage her business process applications. She starts by clicking here to create a new workflow. She gives the workflow a name and a description and clicks Next. Now she is in the App Studio, an environment which gives her easy-to-use tools to build and edit workflows and other application components. Tanya can add activities to her workflow from a toolbox, view and edit workflow and activity properties, and perform useful actions on her workflow using the top ribbon. First, Tanya needs to model her business process. The App Studio enables her to do this quickly, before she gets down to the details. Tanya clicks Form to add the initial web form to the workflow. She positions it on the canvas and connects it to the start activity. Tanya adds three task activities to the workflow. These tasks will be given to each Solera department. Finally, she adds a message activity to notify the order initiator that the order has been provided. She connects each of these activities together, and in seconds, she has completed modeling her workflow. Now Tanya needs to define each activity, starting with the user interface. She double-clicks the form. A wizard appears, enabling her to define the form's name and description, and creation method. Tanya will use the fast-track method to create this form. Tanya now defines the form's data. She adds fields to the form, such as the customer's details and service he is ordering, and the date the order is needed by. Tanya then selects the creation mode of the form. She can pick from a variety of templates and form types, including mobile forms and grid forms. She can create form views for multiple platforms in one click, which is made possible with Sequence Kinetic's unique hot change technology. When she's done defining the form structure, she clicks Finish. Tanya is now in the UX Studio. Sequence Kinetics has automatically created the form view based on Tanya's selection. All of the fields she added are included on a canvas which she can easily edit using the UX Studio controls. Tanya can add additional controls from a toolbox, define control properties, and perform common actions from the top ribbon. For example, she can add a row to the form and add a text box field to receive additional user input. Tanya can also define the service type values by clicking Lookup Tables Data. We'll spend more time in the UX Studio in the Advanced Process Design video. Once Tanya has finished editing her form, she saves it and continues to edit her application. She defines tasks for each department in a similar way. For tasks, she also needs to define how a message is sent to the correct task recipient. Sequence Kinetic's Message Wizard enables her to define rich text messages and even include data from the workflow in her message. She can select the members of the organization who will receive the message by role and department, and decide on how tasks will be delivered in a queue. Tanya can even define that a specific task is one-click enabled, meaning that it can be received on a user's mobile phone and approved or declined in one click. To make her workflow more orderly and understandable, she can add swim lanes and comments. 
After Tanya has finished defining her workflow's activities, she can validate and preview the workflow execution to iron out any issues it may have. Now Tanya's application is complete. Users can run this application in Sequence Kinetic's FlowTime environment. Here, users can kick off the application, managers can monitor its execution with visual dashboards, and department members can complete its tasks either via PC or on process to go Sequence Kinetic's mobile environment. We'll go more into depth on flow time and process to go in the Managing Processes video. To sum up, Sequence Kinetics has enabled Tanya to quickly build a business process application. This application will help her department process orders more efficiently and ensure that services are provided quickly and via multiple platforms. Tanya did this with no programming, which also means she can easily change the application over time. Sequence Kinetics, the power to model, build, and execute business process applications with zero programming. Sequence Kinetics, put your business processes in motion.